Hi, I'm Ryan Simans, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Uh, today, we're answering a visitor question that uh, is in-depth enough that we decided to answer with its own video. In the past, I've stated that the 16-inch guns, like this barrel right here, have a estimated service life of about 300 uh, full charges. So, uh, the question we got was, what about the other guns? That's a reasonable question, but not something I know off the top of my head. Uh, we've also in the past gotten questions about additives that were used in the powder for these guns uh, following World War II, and, and did those extend the life of the barrels? So, um, brief history here. The gun barrel has a liner, which is this rifled interior part, and a jacket around it. The jacket almost never gets replaced. The liner needs to get replaced approximately every 300 rounds for this 16-inch 50 caliber gun. Uh, but it's specifically high-velocity high weight projectiles. So the armor piercing 2,700 pound projectile moving at 2,500 feet per second, uh, that counts as a full shot. That is going to degrade one three hundredth of the life off of this barrel. Uh, if you're firing the lighter 1,900 pound projectile, it's not degrading it as much. Uh, if you're firing training rounds at lower uh, velocities, it's not going to degrade this at all that much. So they're keeping track of the powder they're using, the velocity, the, the weight of the shell, and all that, and they're mathing that out into equivalent service lives um, to calculate the life of the barrel. And uh, really, once you've used about three quarters of the life of the barrel, you take the ship into the yard to have the barrels removed and relined, because you never know when you're going to get into combat, and in a combat situation, you could easily fire... Uh, 50 to 100 rounds out of the barrel. Theoretically, these guns have a rate of fire of one round a minute. So within an hour, you could fire 60 shells, which is one-fifth of the total for these. In practice, it's, it's almost never firing that quick or, or that uh, much in a single combat, but the, the potential exists. So the Iowa-class battleships had their guns relined mid-50s, following World War II and the Korean War. But then, even though New Jersey fired more rounds in Vietnam than she had in the previous two wars put together, uh, and by the end of her life had fired more rounds than any other battleship, they never relined her guns again. This is one of New Jersey's World War II barrels, which was removed in the 50s, uh, and because we had spare barrels left from other ships that weren't built, it was replaced immediately. This one was relined, proof fired, and then kept around in case these guns ever had to be relined, uh, which never happened, which is how the museum was able to acquire it. So, place your bets now. Which gun on the ship do you think had the longest barrel life? The actual barrel life for the 16 inch guns is 290 rounds. Barrel life for the 5 inch 38 caliber guns is 4,600 rounds. For the 40 millimeter guns, it's, it's about 4,500 rounds per barrel. And during World War II, the ship would have carried spare barrels so you could swap these out at sea. For the 20 millimeters, it's only 9,000 rounds per barrel, which as a, as a small anti aircraft gun seems kind of low. Uh, however, the barrel would overheat, and it would just put on the asbestos gloves, pull off the barrel, put a new one in there. You could do that in combat. Uh, there were actually water tubes welded to the side of a lot of gun tubs to put the overheated barrels in, so you could reuse those later. The 25 millimeter Bushmaster, which is a modern uh, gun that the ship was designed to carry, had has a service life of 25,000 rounds. The 50 caliber guns only have a service life of about 3,000 rounds per barrel, 
And again, that's another one that's pretty easy to swap out barrels. But the gun on the ship with the longest service life are the barrels for the 20 millimeter phalanx. Those, the, the phalanx weapon system, can fire 250,000 rounds before you need to switch out the M61 Vulcan, which means that it is um, about 41,667 rounds per barrel because it's a six barrel gun. The way it gets that high rate of fire. Uh, that uh, high rate of fire and barrel survivability is because it's alternating between those six barrels per shot, so the barrels individually live longer. So, let's talk about the additives that they added for the 16-inch guns. Starting in 1967, they came up with something called the Swedish additive. And that is titanium dioxide and wax. If you put that in the powder bags, when the gun goes off, the explosion coats the inside of the barrel in uh, this Swedish additive, and that covers the rifling and keeps a lot of the corrosive materials from the propellant charge itself from eating away at this lining. In the 1980s, they came up with the idea of adding a polyurethane foam uh, sleeve wrapped around the powder bags. And in addition to the wax and uh, the rest of the Swedish additive, when the shell explodes, that sleeve melts and coats the barrel and uh, basically makes the service life, it's not literally infinite, but more rounds than any of these ships could ever possibly fire in their lives. Uh, so, in theory, the Swedish additive made a 2,700-pound projectile fired at 2,500 feet per second, which would normally count as one round out of your 290. It made it only 0.25 rounds. So you could fire four full rounds uh, between shots uh, without taking anything out. The high capacity rounds, which were 1,900 pounds and traveling at 2,700 feet per second, uh, was only 0.11. So you could fire approximately 10 of those shells without taking an equivalent shot off. Uh, and when you add the polyurethane foam in the 80s, it, you get the equivalent of uh, 1,500 shots per barrel. So five times what it was in World War II. Uh, so just some other numbers for you. Again, 2,700 pound projectile at 2,500 feet per second is one shot as designed. The 1,900 pound projectile at 2,700 feet per second is 0.43 shots. So that would be what you're doing for shore bombardment. Uh, and the 1,900 pound training round fired at a lower velocity of 1,900 feet per second is only 0.03% of a shot. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, like the ones we answered in this video, drop them in the uh, comment section down below and we'll get back to you. Uh, if you would like to know ways you can support the museum and our YouTube channel, check the description below for ways to donate. And remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you're notified when we produce new content. Thanks for watching.